when you're embarking on this journey of awakening, spiritual development or personal development, you start learning or relearning or even unlearning all of the things that you've been conditioned with over the years by society and everything and peeling off the layers and then finally becoming the real you again. And just because you peel off those layers and that uh, false identity or that egoic identity you thought you were and you were attached to, the surrounding that bought into that idea starts saying that, hey, you've changed. What happened to you? You've changed. I don't like it. I like the old you. You were different before. And it's very interesting how this world sees you've changed as a bad thing. When in existence, change is the only constant. It's forever a thing that's moving. We should be moving with the energies. You know, this is what I call like dancing with the universe because the universe is always evolving. We should evolve with it. But instead, humans fear change. And so a lot of people, they'll say, I don't understand you. Who are you? Who have you become? What happened to the you that I knew? But instead of seeing it that way, just because they are not on that path of spiritual development or awakening, then it's undeniable and understandable that for sure they won't get your point of view. But the biggest problem is when you are attempting to peel off those layers and finally become whole again, one again, with you and the divine. And at the same time, they are giving their opinions and you are fearing their judgment and you are divided. You're torn between the two. It's almost like having one foot on the accelerator and one foot on the brake and trying to move forward. Yet at the same time, you're feeling this discomfort. So it's very important at moments like that to let go of the idea of being that people pleaser. They may not understand you, but it's okay because they are on their journey. But by you having one foot forward and one foot back, it's not really going to help it because they're not going to be inspired by your journey. Instead, they are going to see incongruency. You once upon a time tried to become someone else and see, you came back because that wasn't you, they say when in fact you nearly got home. That's the thing, you nearly got home. So the message and the transmission I'm feeling for everybody today is to stay congruent with that gut feeling, that undeniable force of nature that's pulling you towards becoming you again. Regardless of what people think or regardless of people may, what people may say, or if they don't understand you, it's okay. Because if you allow yourself to stay aligned and stay congruent with this, when you return home and they see the blissfulness, the new you, then when they see that model, they will become curious and maybe that will be the thing that stimulates, finally stimulates them to want to know, what is that thing? And with questions comes answers by becoming the role model, maybe your outer reality will then become the reflection and everything will start aligning to the new you or the original you.